Funded by the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland with the television license fee. This is the Be Loud Glade, a series of experimental podcasts presenting views and opinions about the Irish contemporary poetry scene from the vantage points of both page and stage, that is, from publishing and performance. Each program also includes a contemporary poem set to specially composed music. In this edition, we hear first from the performance poet and organizer of the Lingo Spoken Word Festival, Aaron Fornhoff, followed by the poem Melodrama by poet Keelan Bradley and voiced by Juliet Crosby with music by Roger Gregg. I remember I used to resent poetry because I didn't understand it. Like, it, it was just this opaque, like, riddle that I had to solve for a grade. And there was nothing that I could hugely relate to and it just felt like this thing I didn't understand and I resented how that made me feel that I didn't understand it so I think you just have this sense that this is something I don't understand it makes me feel not smart to not get what this is trying to say or uncultured or something so you know who cares good writing is good writing regardless but written poems really offer a place for like subtlety and more nuance and illusions and things that require a couple of readings to really get your mind around or things like you know where you end a line somewhere and then the next line is sort of a surprise where you wouldn't see that if you just read it out in in a reading and then um a poem that's performed it's like a I mean, it's 3D instead of 2D. There's a whole other facet to consider. And that, I think, the per largely the purpose of a performance there, it, it pulls the audience in in a different way. Like, you're living out this poem in real time, and when the poem's done, that experience is done. You can't go, like, relive it and pour over it and decipher it. It's this one-time experience that a performer has kind of created with an audience. And ideally, the performance brings another layer to the poem. But the writing needs to be good regardless. I guess you could, you could make a, a poem that's only okay, like a bit more palatable with a really great performance. But, it, but the writing needs to be there regardless, or else it's sort of empty. You know, we used to make this joke that <laughs> you could read a recipe in a slam poetry voice. You know, like this two cups of flour, three tablespoons of butter, and then we rise, we rise, we rise. And it's, you know, it's just like, oh my God, it's just, <laughs> that doesn't feel fresh to me. Or things that are like so heavily rhymed that it's just, it's just like word soup. And it's, it's just so into like, like virtuoso phrases that you can't actually even decipher what they're saying or it's delivered so f this is I think my one of my pet peeves I think is I just want people to like slow down especially if they have like a really dense rhymed like hip-hop style poem but aren't rapping <laughs> um just like slow put some air in there so people can keep up and know like what you're trying to say um, because otherwise the audience will marvel at your, like, verbal prowess, but not really know what message you're trying to send or what story you're trying to tell. We're lingofestival.com, the first spoken word poetry festival in Ireland. It's focused particularly on spoken word poetry with a bit of hip-hop and other music stuff. It was started by six artists with the idea that we wanted to create the kind of festival that we would want to go to as artists. It has open submissions, which was something that we really wanted to have just to make it not feel like a closed shop. We, we also want it to be an entry into poetry for a lot of people. So we're really focused on getting like new audiences or people who've never been to a poetry gig before. I love it when people come up and say like, I thought I hated poetry, but I really liked that. We want the artists and the new audiences to be happy. Melodrama is a natural part of love. 
What would heartbreak be if we couldn't write bad poems about it? Mope around, smoking cigarettes, listening to Leonard Cohen, looking out the window, watching the rain fall with a melancholy expression. When I get older, after my inevitable divorce, which might only be prevented by never getting married in the first place, I plan to sit alone in dark bars, drinking straight whiskey like a cowboy, saying cryptic things about life, love and heartbreak to young people who haven't been quite as scarred as me yet. It'll be great. I can't wait. But for now, I'll have to be appeased by calling you a bastard, theatrically. By laying in bed all day alone, tragically. By listening to sad songs and chain smoking, melodramatically. By going home early from nights out because I'm bored. Because you're not there. Because there's nobody else I care about seeing but you. By lacking the energy to make an effort with anyone or anything. Because this feeling is fucking crippling. And worst of all, by torturing myself thinking of what might have been. A very melodramatic. Please, feel free to roll your eyes at me. That was Keelan Bradley's poem, Melodrama, set to music composed and performed by Roger Gregg and voiced by Juliet Crosby. And you can find out more about Aaron Fornhoff at DaedalusPress.com. Originally broadcast by RTE Lyric FM and funded by the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland, Roger Gregg's Be Loud Glade is a dead medium production with executive producer Gareth Stack. You lot aren't ready for bingo. (laughs) Just give me a second.